and it could be just my skin that it this product just doesn't like <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another skincare Sunday video. Today we are going over all of the Too Faced skincare and I actually do have the products this time. The last video I did is when they launched their first two skincare products which were these two and I just got samples of them and if you want to check out that video separately I did like a whole week of trying these both out and that was back in July and they just recently launched a cleanser a lip balm and a pillow cream or a night cream and I've been trying these out for the last three days and I got some opinions so if you're interested the less get on into this so all of these skincare products are underneath like the hangover rx line that Too Faced has and i'm gonna go through prices and all of the little nitty gritty stuff and then we're gonna get into using everything and then i'll tell you guys kind of my thoughts on each product while i'm using it that's how this video is gonna go so first product is the hangover good in bed ultra replenishing hydration serum with hyaluronic acid coconut water dragon fruit and vitamin b5 this is 39 dollars i would say this is kind of in the price range of like regular two-faced stuff it's not super super luxury but it's not drugstore price it's like kind of in that middle prestigious price range it does have nice packaging it is a pretty hefty bottle but this is supposed to improve your skin texture moisture levels all of that good stuff so it's a really good like hydrating serum the next kind of moisturizing product is the hangover good to go skin protecting moisturizer with hpf 25 with coconut water prebiotic probiot probiotic based ingredients and it protects against uva and uvb rate rays and you can use this as a regular moisturizer for a day or you can use this as a primer as well so i'm including this in the skincare range and this is 34 dollars but it's supposed to hydrate protect prime moisturize all of that good stuff and then let's get into the big old mama so this is the hangover rx pillow cream ultra nourishing night cream infused with mineral rich stardust the stardust thing i do have a comments about but we're gonna move on from this but this is a pretty big thing here I'm trying to think of what so let's see i have the drunk elephant protein right here and then this thing is actually quite large it is a bit heavier than the protein but this is 42 dollars but it's supposed to plump nourish and replenish your skin overnight and then we have the hangover rx pillow balm lip treatment this one is 21 dollars, which is actually not a bad price considering how much you actually get in here so i'm not actually mad about the price for this one since it is a ton of lip balm in here but this is supposed to replenish retain moisture plump your lips all the good hydrating plumping and the last thing is the cleanser this is the hangover rx wash the day away pore purifying gentle foaming cleanser removes makeups and impurities softens and preps skin for skincare interesting but that is what this looks like everything in this line has an interesting like i don't even know how to explain it like <sighs> reflect in it even the product has a bit of like sheen to it but this one is 24 dollars for this big old cleanser so let's get into trying everything out i'm gonna go wet my skin a little bit and we're gonna try out this cleanser all right so my face is damp and this does have kind of like the drunk elephant thing going on where you twist it and it opens up and I'm only going to take the tiniest bit of this because a little bit goes a long long way and then when you close it a little bit comes out which is kind of annoying 
but I'm gonna start distributing this along my face. But you can see like a teeny little bit goes such a long way, which is where I kind of messed up the first time that I used this cleanser. I used a little bit more than what I should have, and I think I did that today because you didn't really use way too much of this cleanser. The other thing about this cleanser is that it doesn't feel irritating or anything on my skin, but a lot of this skincare is pretty scented. So just a fair warning about that. It is pretty scented and it does clean your pores pretty well. So I'm just gonna take a damp washcloth and wipe this off. I would normally wash it off in the sink, but for filming purposes, I'm just gonna use a washcloth. But the one thing that I have noticed about this cleanser that I really don't like is that my skin feels way too clean with this cleanser. I don't know if it's with the amount that I use or what I what it is, but I've used it probably about six times since I've got it. I've tried to use it morning and night, but like this is not an everyday cleanser for my preferences. It is very drying and it almost has this like squeaky clean feeling to it that I don't like at all. Like the first time I washed it off, I was like, I, d I can't even like touch my face because it wasn't soft. It was just kind of like, eek, 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 eek. and I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't like this. All right, I think I'm actually going to rinse my face off a little bit in the sink just because I don't feel like I got it all the way off with the washcloth. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished washing my skin off, but I wanted to kind of show you guys, like it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. I didn't dry my face off because I can, I can feel what I was trying to say, where it's like this squeaky, squeaky clean. And I don't really like, it's a squeaky clean in a bad way. All right, and while my skin is kind of calming down and drying, I so I understand that this is like a pore purifying cleanser. So it's supposed to be like a really deep clean cleanser and it does that. It does clean off a lot of the gunk around my nose, but it's just a little bit too harsh for me to use personally on an everyday basis. It just makes my skin feel way too clean. It almost feels like it strips like the natural oils of my skin and I don't like that, but for days where I just really feel like I'm congested in my pores and I've been wearing a ton of makeup and I really just want to clean everything out, this is a great cleanser. Or if you have really oily, blackhead kind of skin type, then I think you would like this, but combination dry, sensitive skin, eee, I probably would not suggest this because it is such a harsh, like, it doesn't feel harsh, like it's not gritty or anything, but it's the after feeling on your skin that I just am not a big fan about. So overall opinion, I like it for here and there, not for every day. Now let's get into the hydrating serum. I actually really love this serum a lot. I'm just gonna get three pumps of it. It has this almost, if you guys can tell, but it has this like sparkly duochrome holographic look to it. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a really nice hydrating serum. The one negative thing that I would say about it is that it does leave a little bit of a sticky residue on your skin, which I don't really mind because most of the time I'd probably follow this up with something else, but you can use the serum day and night. But other than the stickiness of it, I don't find this to be any, have any like flaws to it. In my opinion, it adds a nice glow to your skin. It does help hydrate my skin a lot, especially after that cleanser, like on this side of my skin. It has this bit of stickiness where it's already starting to soak in. And then while the serum is soaking into my skin, I wanted to talk about the Hangover Pillow Balm. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite thing out of this whole line. So if you guys haven't seen Jen Love's reviews 
video on like ingredients for lip balms, I found that super, super helpful for this product in kind of dissecting the ingredient list. So this lip balm does have some no-nos in it. It does have like menthol and stuff like that to add that kind of like plumping feeling. So that's the probably biggest no-no ingredient for this that I can find. <laughs> I'm basing this all on Jen, Re Jen Loves Reviews, but it does have a lot of pretty good hydrating ingredients to it. Like it has fruit juice, shea butter, cucumber fruit extract, sunflower seed oil, castor seed oil, avocado oil, olive oil, mango seed butter. Like it's got a lot of really nourishing ingredients, but there aren't a lot of ingredients that are really repairing. Like if you have really dry, maybe wind burned lips, this is just a really good hydrating, not so much repairing, but as far as I can tell, this is a pretty good hydrating lip balm in my opinion. It definitely stays on your lips for a pretty long time, which is what I have the biggest problem with with this Primera lip mask is that I put it on and then I feel like I just have to keep reapplying it. But with this one, I feel like I can put it on and it stays on my lips and I don't feel like I have to keep on reapplying it. Like I'm, I can apply it in the morning and then at night and I'm good to go. My lips feel pretty good, especially with this cold weather. So I'm gonna link Jen Loves Reviews video about lip balm in the description box so you guys can check it out. But I really like this lip balm a lot. This is probably one of my favorite lip balms that I've tried this year. Even over the Fenty lip balm. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but this one just is way more nourishing than anything else that I've tried. I'm not gonna go too in depth about this moisturizer since I did do a review on the serum and the SPF moisturizer separately. This one I do like. I think it works really well with the serum and I think they go hand in hand with each other for the daytime, but this is what it looks like. It does have a little bit of a white cast, but it goes away pretty much instantly. It doesn't feel greasy. It has a pretty light amount of hydration to it. Once you put it on over the serum, it gets rid of that serum stickiness. It doesn't smell like sunscreen really bad. And you can use it as a primer. And if you have combination dry skin, I really do think that this combo is a really good priming combo for the start of your day especially with the cold weather because I feel like nowadays we forget about SPF because it's not hot outside, but we still need SPF in our skincare routines, even when it's winter. And then this is the kind of like glow to your skin, the moisturizer and the serum leave. But now, since it is a little bit more towards the nighttime, I'm gonna use the pillow cream so this I have not had the best of luck with. I've tried it several different ways, but I'm just gonna take a little bit. I do have to use a little bit more of this than I what I thought, but it has the same kind of like pinky shifting color to it, like the serum does, that like stardust, whatever that is. I don't really know. You know, you can kind of see it a little bit more now that I've spread it onto my hands. It does add like that glittery look, but what I found is I sh the best way for this to work for me is I warm it up on the back of my hand and then I go and I kind of evenly distribute it onto my face. I know this is so weird, but this just does not like to work for me for some reason. And I'll get into that in just a second if it does decide to do what it does do. So I rub this into my skin and you can really, really see the like pinky glow on your skin that this leaves. But the worst part about this product for me is that it really balls up. Like regardless of what I do, regardless of if I use it by itself, if I use it with something else, 
it just balls up like crazy. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see like even over here, like this is just like flaking off of my skin. Like, look at that. That's like literally the moisturizer balling off of my skin. Like it's so gross. And for that reason, I just really don't like this at all. Like it just comes off and I don't know if it has something to do with this like pinky glitter that's in the product, but like, oh my gosh, look, it's just crazy. I have nothing on my hands. Let me just do a light layer. Look, it just, <laughs> so for that reason, I really don't like this product at all. And it doesn't seem very nourishing. And when I have gotten it to not ball up so much on me, the residue in the morning, it still leaves this like pinky, do you see this? This like pinky glitter on my face in the morning and I just feel dirty. Yeah, look at this. Ugh. <laughs> no one wants to look like this. Uh, I mean, my skin is a little bit more prone to, <laughs> as I'm like wiping this all off of my face, my skin is more prone to have skincare ball up, but like this is ridiculous. Like I keep trying this in so many different ways. It balls up on the back of my hand. It balls up like on my face, if I use a little bit, if I don't use anything underneath it, like no matter what I try, it's just like this every single time. Ugh. And it drives me insane. And I, I want to like it because I do really like the serum, the SPF moisturizer, the lip balm. I do really like these products, but this one, I just cannot get to work for me. And it could be just my skin that it this product just doesn't like. But a part of me really thinks that it's this shimmery stuff that's in this product. Because why do we need this pink shimmer in a nighttime moisturizer? You know what I mean? So I feel like this product could be really good. Because they did do a really good job with the serum, the lip balm, and the moisturizer. But this just will not work for me and I'm probably going to end up returning it because I've been trying it for the last three days and I just cannot get this to work for me. This is the fourth day I've tried to get this to work for me and it just doesn't work and I'm sorry to say that but the way that it balls up on my skin I just really don't like that. I don't like waking up and having pink shimmer on my face. I want it to be clean and moisturized. I don't want to look like I'm putting moisturizer on for just like an Instagram picture, which is what I'm kind of feeling like this product is kind of going for because it does have a pretty intense packaging. Like it's got the Too Faced logo. It's all shimmery. It's got little stars and moons all over it. So it's definitely a little bit more over the top product than everything else in this whole range. So I'm a bit disappointed because I do think they could have gotten a really good nighttime moisturizer out of this, but nay, 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 nay. So out of this whole skincare range, depending on your skin type, I'd be very cautious about this. When it does start rolling into stores, I would suggest to get a sample of this before you try it out. Same with the cleanser. The cleanser, I will say, depending on your skin type, you may or may not really like it or hate it. So cautious with this. This one, if you love the hangover, oh, I have it, hold on. If you love the regular hangover RX primer, you're gonna really like this one because it has SPF. It doesn't ball up on my face. Even though it has an SPF, it's still really hydrating. So just a nice little thing. And also you can layer these over each other. It says for optimal results use after the good in bed replenishing hydrating serum. And then you can follow with the replenishing primer. 
so you can use all three of these together but i feel like that's a little bit too much for my skin so i just use this one as a primer when i do layer them up together so that is my thoughts what do you guys think of this whole skincare that Too Faced is doing? I have a feeling that in the new year of 2020, a lot more cosmetic brands are going to be coming out with their own skincare brands. That is it for this video. Let me know your opinions down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up for Skincare Sunday. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you love skincare if you missed my last skincare sunday video i'll have that video linked right over here and then this video will be suggested to you by youtube my face will be right here where you can click on it and subscribe to my channel